Ohio's governor is pushing for millions of dollars from the state budget to expand a statewide narcotics intelligence center. NBC4's Joe Collins has more on what Governor Mike DeWine says this increase in funding could accomplish. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine said a $13 million increase is pivotal for the Ohio Narcotics Intelligence Center as it better allows them to assist local law enforcement agencies across the state with handling drug-related violent crime. We're going to be able just to serve more law enforcement agencies and we're going to be able to serve them quicker and getting information back to them. Started by Governor DeWine back in 2019, the Ohio Narcotics Intelligence Center has assisted police and deputies across the state with more than 3,200 criminal investigations and examined evidence from more than 7,500 cell phones. Cell phones now contain so much information, so any criminal investigation, almost every single one involves a cell phone. If more funding is approved, the center would have a much larger presence in law enforcement across the state. There's additional support for ONIC to expand into drug-related violent crime. Uh, they're already doing that work, but there's going to be additional money for additional staff and equipment. The center is a state-run organization that serves as a resource to local governments. We are a local government state, so the local police department have the jurisdiction, the local sheriff might have the jurisdiction. But what we have done and what we're willing to continue to do, any mayor that wants us to do it, is to work with that police department and surge in some resources. Surging in resources is the state providing local governments with the necessary resources to better handle situations like crime, which DeWine says is the state's main responsibility. This method has been done in a couple of Ohio cities already. The extra money allows them to do more. We have done this uh, in Youngstown. Uh, we have done it in Akron. Uh, we have done it in Toledo. And we're certainly uh, you know, available to do this any place. Now the funding is riding on the state operating budget being passed before its deadline of June 30th. When asked how confident he is on it passing, DeWine said, fingers crossed. Local for you, Joe Collins, NBC4.